What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's Prodigal. Picking up right where we left off, chapter two of As Dusk Falls. We left off being held at gunpoint right here by this dude. Uh, I forgot his name. Hold on. Which one is he? He's, is he Tyler? Okay, you got Jay, Tyler, and Dale. This is Tyler. We're being held at gunpoint by Tyler right now. We're going to see what happens. It affects some of my choices. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It's up right now. And I'm also streaming right now. So if I see like I'm talking to somebody else that's not there, and yeah, I'm not I'm streaming on both Twitch and TikTok right now. So check out both of those. But right now, I'm mainly talking to people in TikTok. So that's why y'all not, you know, you can't see the chat. Anyway, let's get right back into it. Horror becomes me. You're right here being held at gunpoint. Oh shit. Ah, no bullets, whore. What's up? What's up? I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Oh no, he he Dale, just did that to scare me. Duffel bag. Nah, right. nah, nigga. Nah, he, he, the gun went blank and he's trying to make it seem like he was just playing. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince. You can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I have to protect you, yeah. That's that's real shit. I gotta protect you. Who knows where they were gonna take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah. That's facts. Okay. That's facts. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> oh. Uh-oh. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! Was this gonna happen Sunday. either way? He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. Right. Oh, they pulled up deep. Oh, they deep. No oh, lord, this man only care about getting his money back. He don't give a fuck. Well, he did get robbed. I will care about getting my money back too. Let me stop. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. Uh. But you assholes know that already. Oh, okay. The he he bought it. In Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, you dipshits broke into my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. Uh, this would be the perfect time to say surrender. I ain't gonna lie to you. Save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Why wouldn't you? There's no way I can get out of this. Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Wait until they can call more people, like, diff from different areas and all that, man. There's someone oh, that idiotic. Gets that. The police are gonna catch you, and... Put you in jail. You cut it out, or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! I'll put you in a corner. You can't talk Work. to my granddaughter. I, like yo, that. Jim, sit down. Sit She's down. Six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough. <laughs> Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a. Who you think you are? You trying to ground these people? <laughs> you you're a weak. I don't. I, I want to remain weak. I ain't gonna provoke them, but like you know, you gotta chill. Insult calmly. Crack a joke? Oh, I feel like all of these is gonna piss him off. Oh my God. Calmly defy him, crack a joke or insult. Insulting him is stupid. What is cracking a joke gonna do? But I feel like that's what like, you know, I feel like he's just gonna say, oh, you think you funny? Shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Calmly defy him. I don't go go with crack a joke. Why not, let's crack a joke. Hey guys. What do bank robbers eat for dessert? If I knew you were gonna do this type of joke, I wouldn't have said Iced nothing. Cream. I got, I gotta. You get it? <laughs> you're an idiot. You know that? I, I shouldn't have said that. I nothing. mean, it was kind of funny. You're, you see, you're... he gets it. You I hate Dale. Sense of humor. 
All right, that's it. Into the back. Are you no, serious? Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Why Michelle, wasn't there an option to just be quiet? Fine. I should have said that. I shouldn't have said that. It's fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. I probably shouldn't. Have, I, I literally should have just Keep your mouth shut let it run out. And don't make We're not able to answer for me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like this would have this would happen either way. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Or we use Did scissors. You knock that pen holder to the floor. All right, we gotta be smart. I'm here. That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two. Ooh, right here. I'm right here. I'm here. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Woo! I gotta stop looking at the chat. I gotta stop looking at the chat. I gotta focus. I gotta mash when I'm ready. Oh! Oh, they hit me with the whole crazy. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm my family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? My dad is sick. He's always scared the motel staff is safe. Their last name is Holtz. There you go. Yeah, like all everything else, everything else, it kind of didn't make no sense to say. Why, why would I tell them my dad is sick? What, what is that gonna do for anybody? The people doing this, there's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys. Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story, but tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. Gotta make it quick though. Uh, Tyler's in charge. Dale's a psycho. One's just a teenager. The most out. Okay, so uh, okay, okay. We have a little time thing. Tyler's in charge. That would be. I guess that would be good to know. Dale's a psycho. Dale letting them know Dale's a psycho will be mean. Like you know, he's the most dangerous. And once he's a teenager, like it don't matter. He's implicated. He's he's done their bidding. He would go to go to jail too. I think Dale in charge is the best option. The one calling the shots. I think his name's um. Tyler. Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would have called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it, you need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Uh, damn. One's just a teenager. The motel staff is saying, fuck it. Dale is a psycho. Fuck, I should have said that. I can't take it back. Okay, yes, I can. Okay, Dale's a psycho. The middle brother, I think his name's Dale. He seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. Caught him assaulting a liquor store owner a few years back. <laughs> Somehow he thinks it was my fault. This is in time. Listen, Vince, we're going to put an end to this thing. Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. You don't know what I told him, pussy. Uh, should I, should I, should I tell the truth? Ah, oh, fuck it. Nothing. I ain't tell him nothing. I ain't tell him shit. Nothing. I don't speak to the cop. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. 
They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you Fernando do? Fernando Hernandez, nah. What do you mean, nah? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. You should have never cr uh, crashed into me with the freaking car, asshole. I wouldn't be here. Fuck this place. Mm -hmm. No, what was that? Oh, they turned off the lights. They turned off the lights type shit. They caught our power supply. Oh, yeah. She about to pop off. She is so, about to pop off. Let's see. 12 years as a flight mechanic. Oh, there's a flashback? Up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. Mm. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. Wow. Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. Damn, I wish I could fucking read that. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job. You won't cut your rent for a year, to go you respect, you'll never work for an airline again, regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Hmm. Okay, what will flipping the, the, the desk do? It will just make me look more guilty. I don't think there's a choice here. If I, like, what will flipping the desk do? Fuck it. Sign it. Where do I sign? You've made the right decision. Now, all you've got to do is wake up and do it for real. Oh, that was a dream. <gasps> Shit. Two days before the whole desert shit. Okay, okay. Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe. I'm pissed off. That was a dream. We'll but you know, they're probably gonna okay? get a chance to see uh, what it would be like. Yeah, yeah. I just I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. But this time I actually signed the A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? There we go. Much better. Fix the AC. Fuck the AC. That's the landlord's problem. They can pack them boxes. That's literally the landlord's problem. <sighs> Fuck. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. So he wants to be a pilot. I want to say like he was a flight mechanic. So did he want to be a pilot one day? Because that said uh, the training man you right there. Making dessert. Check weather. Why the fuck would I do that? Pack the photos. Get the packing out the way, y'all. Pack first. Get the shit out the way. No, pack. I know what's me as the character. We know what's on the damn pictures. Seems like I'm packing my whole world away. And we saw him right there already. It's baby Zoe and you and your your outfit. It's fine. All right. Now we packed up. We packed up. Now let's fix this AC. Priorities, y'all. Okay. Priorities. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be. Well, this is obviously okay. alien technology. Mash. Swipe. I'm, I'm like that. Go. Cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. You gotta stop talking to yourself, bro. That's weird. All right, on the home stretch now. 
Okay, I could go outside. Let's wash the dishes. Get the packing, cleaning, fixing out the way. Y'all for real? I like how to give you a little warning about making the controller vibrate. All right, dish is done. Oh, did I not make dessert by the time she came in because of everything else? Hi, Fuck. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address. Millie? I miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. What is it? Shirt fried rice? That's my favorite. Mm, Anybody give me ah ah. By the way, a lot did the coming. moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. What's was that a joke about? Let's be honest. What the fuck? Yeah. The couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night. If you were gonna joke anyway, why the fuck was joke the first option? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the. You know what? Never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? No. Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out. <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. Mm. You were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off. I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. That was God, a bar. I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? Come on, let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? Face our fears. When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Love you all the way to the moon. I want mommy. <sighs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. That scared shit on me. What happened? Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. New message. Gonna miss your sweet little smile, cupcake. One last drink. What the fuck? Who's Bruce? Oh, hell no. Nah. Who the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nah. Uh, who the fuck is Bruce? Oh, hold on. I want to say something. I called this in the first playthrough on the channel y'all I, I called this i had said it as a joke i was like which one of y'all cheated because like that awkward silence that was happening um on a ride you know what i'm saying hey hey you you doing okay yeah sure it's uh you know i'm fine michelle we're good 
<sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? Yeah, what's going on, man? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. Why your ass off? Which one of y'all cheese? I like I said that as a joke. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. If I was right, that's that's crazy. Who the fuck is rude? Hey, hold on, and one more thing. I don't care who it is. I don't care. It, like the only thing that can justify that if it was truly wrong number type shit. You know what I'm saying? But whoever bro is, I don't give if he was a friend or like you know, okay, if he was family, miss a uh, wrong number, or uh I would say if it was like an uncle or something like that, but like that one makes no sense either. I don't know. But yeah, nah. Other than those three examples, nothing justifies that. Nothing. Don't ever, ever do that. We just go find out. We go find out. Okay, that's the. Oh, desk. this one takes over there. Hairpin could be useful. Okay, now, come on, I'll take care of you. You, a place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. Yeah, I got the hairpin. So can I look at the window? And I can't look at none else with the door. Okay. Hey. Go do it. Hey. Oh, I'm ready. I'm like I can't that. believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's too dark out there. Don't open the door all the really see us. Bro. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So he's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Shit, I'm scared. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin, it's Daddy. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. What the hell? Vince, I'm coming in. Daddy! <sighs> oh, shit. I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I hurt. Zoe, you okay? Drew, what are you talking about? I, I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I. Is someone just walking? <laughs> Time to be strong, hold her tight. Hold her tight, hold her tight, man. I am too, pumpkin. It's okay. Drew, you're gonna be spoiling right. this for me. You said wait for UT. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? <gasps> Fuck! I'm pretty sure. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't want to go to jail. I hope Maybe you don't tell his brothers, man. You'd better hide. Listen. I'm gonna get us out of here before, before the lights come back on, okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Shit, I'm scared, bro. Drew, you're making me scared, man. Are you guys all right? Oh, you found her. 
Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Ooh. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Oh, we're gonna blink on him. Oh, that's the police. Okay, go! Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Okay, bitch. Where are the perps? Fall back. Go. So they just decided to have a shootout with the police. Okay. Sanchez. Oh, he actually shot somebody. Oh shit. shit. Jesus Christ. Weren't there like twenty it's cops or something like that outside? Why are there only like five it. of you in here? Uh, stay hidden. Stay hidden. You're, you're gonna get caught. Face get caught in a crossfire. To go. You're gonna get caught in a crossfire. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. Well, he's what the dead. What are you doing, Grandpa? Yeah, he's dead. Like 100. percent oh. Fuck is wrong with niggas? Sanchez is hit. I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back. Fall back. Ain't no fucking way. Fire. Repeat. Hold your fire. Y'all just. I said 30. Fucking Y'all just engage, you, you know, whole again, shoot. Hold on. Cops are awful. Cops suck. Cops suck. And I'm glad they included this in the game because that is, that is so weak. You telling me that you decided to have a, sh go in there and have a full blown Rainbow Six Siege shootout. One of y'all get hit and then you told, oh, I knew this was a bad idea. And then y'all just run out. they leaving the hostages in there. What logic is this? There are, there are 20 of you outside, at least. Y'all only send four in there. Like it's Rainbow Six Siege coming down the says like, you know, go, busting in through the windows, checking around corners and all that. Bro hit y'all with a fire extinguisher, blew it on y'all. And then, you know, you have y'all a little shootout. One of y'all get hit in the in the body armor type thing. And like, y'all just say, ah, we, did get, we gotta fall back. We gotta get out. Like, isn't the priority of the hostages? As soon as y'all saw them, y'all should've, should've said, yo, hostages, we'll cover y'all, run outside. But make sure you got your hands up so um up so they can make sure, you know, you know you're not with one of the enemies and all that and we'll cover y'all but instead y'all run out leaving the hostages with these people and now they might retaliate by killing one of them this is stupid this is stupid and i'm so mad about it because things like this has happened in real life with cops being basically pussy you know that's the best way i can say it cops being pussy so all right let's get back to it cops are pussy all of them Every last one of them leaves in a body bag <sighs> What's the dog's name? Zeus. The dog's name is Zeus. Where the fuck were you? Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know. Honey. Yeah. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Jim, are you okay? Dad, he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. Yeah, he's he fucked. Looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. He looks all right. This old ass man is that. bleeding from the head. He's got a brain tumor. Uh, yeah. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. It is. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. It's not hey, a lie to him. Are you with us? It is his fault. Real quick, I also want to elaborate on that. I'm saying it's his fault because he apparently is the one that suggested they travel by road instead of flying. But I guess that was also up to Vince too as well. But no, Vince, if how does how the story is going to pan out, most likely Vince probably just can't uh work for a flight company. He can still get on flights and all that. But it was said by Michelle that Jim is the one who suggested they do it the long way by uh, traveling by road instead of by air. So yeah, them being here technically is Jim's fault. You know what I'm saying? And also like, it's also Jim's fault literally for getting hit because he tried to get up and run instead of staying hidden where you could have got caught, caught in a crossfire and since you did r run you did get caught in a crossfire you got hit you know what i'm saying so yeah also the cops are ass so there's that
Why did you run? Know where you are? How do you feel? Yeah, we know how he feels. Jim, uh, do you know where we are right now? Arizona. Sam Bluff Motel. Oh shit. No, it's called the Desert Dream. That was the old name before I bought it. I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to, to get my easy now. Yeah, he's seeing he to him. see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. Mm. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. You boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Yeah, yeah, I just say hey, helicopter. Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Yeah, you gotta be grandpa. <laughs> or maybe Zoe. So we... Well, okay. So hold on. Let's think about this. So the game started off with us, us and Zoe's perspective. She was in a, she was in the uh, in a pool swimming type thing. So I think no matter what happens, that she's gonna live. You know what I'm saying. So I feel like everybody else, though, everybody else is on the chopping block. You feel me? So I think Zoe is cool to stay. So I think we should let go, of Grandpa, because you know. He's right now, he's the most liable one. He's the oldest one. And he got that brain tumor. Like, I feel like they're, but the thing is, I feel like they're hinting, like they're heavily implying that we should let grandpa leave because of all the stuff that's going on with him right now. You feel me? So I feel like if I select somebody else, that will be smarter too. So if I can let the mom go, I might let Michelle go. Just like, cause just in case I die, the main character, I ain't got to worry about, uh, you know, Zoe being completely orphaned. You feel me? I got to think, I got to think. I wait till the choice comes up. Cause you never know who they're going to actually put on the options. He said, this is going to be fun. Choose wisely. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Everyone's alive so far. No one's dead yet. Gonna. Oh, yeah. This way. This is what I want to know right here. This is what I want to know. Who is Bruce? As soon as my wife coming out that door, I'm asking her, what's up? Finally got I, I ain't, I ain't waiting around no block. What's Tomorrow up? Morning. Good to go. Who is Bruce? Hmm. At least we get Give me the option. Nice California sunset. I don't care about none y'all saying. 13 years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. I really don't care, babe. I'm sorry, but who, the, who the fuck is Bruce? Mm. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? Oh, you know who Bruce is. Nah, I'm about, we about to find out who Bruce is. Divorce? No. What? 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 We don't know who Bruce is yet. So why are you talking about divorce? What? We don't know who Bruce is yet. We don't. We got to just don't say no for now. For now. There is. I don't want to know. Well, this time next week, we'll be in our new place. Zoe will have a yard to run around <laughs> in. We just have to survive three days in the car with your father first. Ask who Bruce is, man. I'm going to be pissed if they don't let me. Anyway. Tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Yeah, who is Bruce? Yeah, mention text message. Mention text message. Oh, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake. Why did you, Vince? You've been reading my messages. Look at her trying to flip it. 
Thought it was the movers. You got you gotta yell. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. <sighs> Bruce is calling. Go pick it up. Oh, Some you didn't answer. Oh, that's the home phone. I can't answer that. Yeah, let me go answer that. It let me go sense. answer that. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Hey, do you mind if I, uh... Um... Yeah. It's... Hi, is this Bruce? Uh, can you put Michelle back on? It is Bruce, right? Yeah, it's Bruce. So? I hear you like cupcakes. Vince, give me the phone. Weird, he hung up. Ooh. What the hell has gotten into you? What are you fighting about? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you Ooh. should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> okay. We got a little bit more information. So apparently, wow. So Brute, Drubert, Drubert, stop. Because I'm, I'm reading your messages and I'm trying to like, I'm trying not to be influenced by you. All right, so so Bruce is someone at work, most likely her boss or someone, or maybe just a coworker, we don't know. But he, she's someone at work that knows him. He text, a nigga from work texting your phone, talk about something gonna miss that smile of yours cupcake. That's not how coworkers talk to each other. Straight like that. And when bro, when you ain't answer, answer his text or answer the phone when he called you he called the home phone he got your cell phone number obviously text message but he also got our home phone he got our home phone too and then when i when i when i get on the phone i don't know if he knows who vince is like the husband or whatever i don't know if he knows that but if he immediately said uh can you put michelle michelle back on i said uh i would have like nigga no the fuck you talking to me now i hear you like cupcakes then he hung up immediately that's just adding to, to the level of suspicion you know what i'm saying and i don't like how when we brought up to michelle she immediately said you've been reading my messages instead of just answering that's not what yes yeah, not how y'all supposed to do it you immediately just respond you respond by answering them but not by deflecting type thing or try to like flip the blame you feel me and we act and he didn't even act in like a confront confrontational way he like he didn't say he didn't do it like me i was like yo who the fuck is bruce why this nigga texting you i would literally said it like that right but now he's like um someone named bruce texas something about cupcakes and then she immediately hopped on the defense she immediately got defensive so it's a whole bunch of red flags and then when you get on the phone with bro and he talking about some uh and he he talked about keep put michelle back on and then he said he gonna hang up when he when you mentioned the cupcakes meeting that now he knows you read the message and he immediately hung up nah nah and after that point if it was me it's Full on beef. It's full on. We I ain't letting this go. I want answers. Cause while we all packing, I can pack my stuff separately. I know we got Zoe and all that, but I immediately am. And if I ain't getting a straight answer out of somebody, I'm already packing myself separately. Straight like that. Straight like that. Daddy. Yes, sweetie. We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy. Oh, Zoe. <laughs> okay. Zoe, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. Zoe's smart. She's just six years old, but she's smart for her age, right? And the fact that she asked him that question because she saw his fighting type thing, it's like, look, I will be, I, once you have confirmation, once you have confirmation about what's going on, then I would be honest with Zoe. If it's true that the wife getting around on the husband with someone at work, with a nigga at work, I'm telling Zoe Trader, like, yo, your mom did me dirty. We may not be living together, but I will always be with you. You know what I'm saying? I'll always be your dad type thing. You know what I'm saying? But your mom, she on some wild shit. Zoe and Cupcake gonna be doing their thing with Bruce. Drewber, I hope you're not spoiling. I really hope you're not. But like, you gotta, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. You gotta be more discreet. It's always. Uh, I don't wanna lie. <laughs> yeah, ask her why. <laughs> why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue, and now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. Oh wow. We're not doing that. Mm. Don't don't lie to her. You don't know. I would be. I would say, hey yo. Uh, don't you know me and Ma just talking right now. You know, just let let us let's finish talking. <laughs> I don't know, cause hey yo, if it's me, I found out my wife messing with a, a, a with a dude at work. To like first, like just the red flags I mentioned, bro. Like, why does he he got your number? Y'all texting? He saying things like that? That's immediately a no. 
immediately. But he also calling the home phone. He has two different ways to contact you. He call at my house. And then when I get on the phone with him, be like, hey, yo, man, like uh, you talk about some cupcakes this down the third. He gonna hang up in my face? Oh nah. It's instant beef for me and him. Oh, she poured out some wine. Oh yeah. You better tell some truths. So uh Yeah, keep the pressure Bruce on. Here, Who is huh? Bruce? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, do you, this is an insecure. Okay, got 10 seconds. Damn. So the last one, you like him. That's an insecure answer. And she's saying you never mentioned him. That's a, that's a valid thing. But like she just said, though, they were just working together, doing some studies. And, uh, and she said, there isn't much to mention. If there's nothing happening, there's nothing to mention. I will understand that. But this middle one, he's very insistent. You feel me? There needs to be an option more direct. Why is this nigga texting you talking about someone miss your smile, cupcake? That's a no. I'm saying he's very insistent. Fuck that nigga. It's just strange. How first he texted you. Yes. Then called your cell. Yes. Then called the house. Yes. He missed the farewell drinks and wanted to say goodbye. He was just being nice. <sighs> Nick. Niggas at your co-workers not supposed to talk to you like that. No. And it's not just a man and woman thing. Think about it if the options were reversed. If Vince had a, a, co a female co-worker and his flight thing and she and she knew about his whole situation about him possibly being fired because of some malfunction, whatever, and she was being mad sympathetic. She was always some, oh my God, like you're such a warm, kind soul. I'm gonna miss you every day, all the other thing. How would that read to Michelle if she saw that in Vince phone? You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, so yeah, nah, nah. Maybe it is me personally and in my own boundaries in my real life to uh to the game but it's like nah man like ain't i i wouldn't allow no co first of all no co-worker of mine we even have my personal number because if you a co-worker i already don't really want to speak to you in real life unless you're, you're really just that freaking cool but like if i'm in a relationship and my person i'm in a relationship with don't work with me i'm not speaking to nobody none of my co-workers on, on my personal time especially if they're female let's forget about all this don't let it ruin our last night we've got a long few days ahead of us no, fuck that. Ruff. Because uh, I want this conversation to keep going. If I refuse the wine, is it going to continue the conversation? Because I want to continue the conversation. If I accept the wine, will it negate the conversation? Because I definitely still want to talk about this. Because that's not, that's something that I need more clarity on. You can't just say, oh, you know, oh, we just co-workers, we study together. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to address everything. You feel me? You gotta address it all. Cause like, if you really cheating with this dude, you trying to like distract me with some wine or whatever, like I'm not letting this go. Me personally, I'm not letting this go. But I'm gonna just drink the wine right now in hopes that we are gonna be able to continue the conversation. But yeah, this is something that would definitely have you deep in thought. You feel what I'm saying? Moroccan queen up in the bed, I see you. Oh shit, I just read what he said. Fuck. Moroccan Queen sharing a lot. Thank you. What's up, Moroccan Queen? Hell well, nah. Week you said that you had to stay in great papers. Oh wow. And you came back smelling of of wine and perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us, but nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? So, you see how it's all, <laughs> it's all in the, the little things. She stuttered. She was like, I, I, I've been, I'm changing schools. I got to leave on a high note. But last week you had said you was grading papers, but then you came back smelling like wine and, per, wine and perfume, right? But also she's not doing a good job of explaining herself either. She's stuttering over her words. She's changing the story perfume and wine but here's my thing i want to say this before i make my decision because i'm going off of um what i feel right now what i would say in a real moment you know 
I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not playing a game to get the best outcome. I'm going off what, uh, of what I feel and hope that would be the best outcome type thing. What I feel and what I think. So right now, what I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking literally what he's, what he's about to say. No, there's more to this. There's literally more to this. You're not explaining yourself well. This doesn't add up. Coworkers shouldn't be talking to each other like that. And it's like you just you're really trying to just move past it like quickly get past it and all that other stuff Moroccan, queen yeah look look at you you're saying the same thing you're thinking the same thing i'm thinking right but i think the game is purposely pushing her in this she's cheating mindset to influence me the gamer to think this when it's really not that you feel what i'm saying i feel like that's what the game is doing it's trying to be like oh it's trying to be like He's trying to wave it in front of our faces. Yo, she's cheating. Make this decision right here so it can lead to this outcome. But when you actually just take a second to think, and maybe she's not cheating. And that's why they give that's why they're saying right here, uh, choose carefully based on what we know. It's like a decision between what you feel versus thinking rationally. Because based on all the evidence we just saw, yes, there's a lot of red flags. You know, there's a lot of red flags. Bruce could have been on the phone, but like, oh no, nah, bro, ain't, ain't nothing like that. You know, we just co-workers or whatever. I'm just, it's just me being me, you know, with the messages and all that, that's how I talk. He could have said that, which, uh, you feel like I'm overthinking. Oh yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Fuck it. Let's, let's just pick it. And, uh, there's more, there's more to this. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Michelle. I didn't, uh, I didn't say, I didn't say you should say it. You feel like I'm, you, you feel like she's sleeping with bro. Like I, bro, why say this is what they're going to say if they're going to say something differently. Have him literally say, nah, I, nah, there's more to this. You know, there's some, there's more you're not saying or something like saying like, nah, I feel like you're sleeping with bro. Uh, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. All right, then give me your cell phone. What? Oh yeah. 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 Have you got something to hide? No, of course not. So what's the problem? Mmm. Mmm. Do it. What's the matter? It wasn't. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Oh yeah! Divorce instantly. Sorry, Zoe. Steak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is true. You fucking ass. Cupcake getting cupcake. Oh, God, I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It, it just happened. Wow. When did it start? Yes, stay, 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 stay logical. Stay logical. How long has this been going on? How long? At the end of January. What month is it now? The semester party. That explains all the working late. Stumbling around when you get back, showering before bed. Showering? Oh. Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, nah, nigga. Oh, nah. Vince, you should have been known then. Showering before she get in bed? Well, oh, okay. Everyone should take a shower right after you get off work. Okay. I get that. That part. But like the stumbling around, being drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. We're done. We're done. Bed. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. And he was... I don't know. That's not an excuse. I don't give a fuck about... I don't give a fuck about there. anything she's saying right now. Fuck that. We're done. Do you love him? Uh, she, she's obviously gonna lie. Is the affair over in our bed? Oh, in our bed? That would be crazy. I mean, uh, he, he did just say, he did just say, um, he, she will always come home stumbling around how many times, well, how many times really don't matter because she said it has been, it's been happening since this time period or whatever. And it don't really matter how many times it happened. It happening one time is enough. That's it. In relationship over period. There ain't nothing saving that coming home late and showering. Hell yeah. I would think she's cheating. I only said the showering part is negated because, you know, when you get home from work, like you should shower, everyone should be showering. But like, yeah, coming home late, like every day after work, I mean, work, workplaces operate differently. Some people do stay back for the overtime or they like, to get their work done. 
you know what I'm saying? But like everything else she was saying, like coming home, like oh, basically, basically drunk, stumbling around and all that. Like, it's just, it's just, yeah, man. Yeah, it just happened. Mess me, miss me with that bullshit. Yeah. Like I hate that. Hate that. What do you mean? It just happened. I should have, I, I didn't want to say it because you know, I know it's obviously a lie. And, uh, okay. So we got the options. Y'all I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all pick. I'm gonna let y'all pick this one. So option number one is asking her how many times has it happened? Option number two is, did it happen in our bed? Option number three is, is the affair over? Option number four is, do you love him? Drew, you say in the bed? Moroccan, you say, is it over? Hmm. In bed is evil work, but we gotta know, right? We gotta know. I mean, this is one of the options. I feel like everything else is like, uh, is inconsequential. You, you, you want to know? I right, so we're choosing in the bed, in our bed. That's the question. That's what we were choosing. All right, we about to choose it. Has he been here? <laughs> in our apartment? Did the two of you? No, no, of course not. So where then? Does it really matter? Yes. No. It was his place. Always at his place. Wow. Look, it was just sex. Oh no, nah, no, nah, oh no, nah. we're 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 super done now. We're we're oh my god, we are done. We we've already been done. But it's like you talk with some. It's just sex. You're in a freaking relationship. You're married to me, bro. You're married. We have a kid. That is just sex. Could have turned into an STD. Could have turned into another kid. It's not mine. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's honestly all it was. No, we're done. I don't give a fuck. We're done. We're done. It's never just that you betray me. You have no shame. Uh, what else was it supposed to be? She a narcissist. Okay, we got some good options right here. It says, what about our family? That's the that's the fourth one. Number three says, it's never just sex. Number two says, you betrayed me. And number one says, uh, number one says, you have no shame. Mm, wow, man. Yeah, she did straight up betray him. Like, that's trail. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, we, we thinking the same thing, saying betrayal. I do want to talk about the other options. When he said it's never just sex, but I do. Uh, when I think about what about our family, because now, now that I know, now that I know this for a fact, there's no way I'm staying with you. No way. There's no way I'm staying with you. Period. Not staying with you. So, what did the plan? Like, what were you? What were your plans when I found out, or if you were found out about me, uh, about our situation with Zoe? What was the plan then? Yeah, betrayal. Yep, Sam McCracken. All right gonna go with that you betrayed me Michelle however you try to justify no. this to yourself no don't say that please no we're done we're done I felt so rejected I don't give a fuck don't give a fuck you haven't touched me in months you haven't looked at me when was the last time we even watched a movie together? We do not care exactly, Hunter. When you lost your job. This wall went up. I wish I could skip this, because it's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you're... Because y'all, y'all gotta understand. Obviously, I know where she's trying to come from. Like, you you feel, you felt rejected. You have been touched, whatever. You're thinking about a, a marriage from a very, like, lustful, lustful standpoint. You, have you felt this way that badly? Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you literally sit me down and be like, hey, I know you're going through this and stuff with your job. I'm here for you all the way and all that. I just want to let you know this is what how I've been feeling uh, lately. You know, we haven't been intimate. It feels like you, you don't really mess with me anymore like that. How hard is that? A simple conversation. But nah, you, you decided to go to another dude. You know what I'm saying? So nothing you saying right now would actually like pass through my heart. It will make me feel nothing because it just comes off as an, as an excuse. You're literally trying to justify yourself. So no, I'm not listening to any of this. Nothing. Ever. You pretend everything's fine, that you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. Yep, Honcho said you decided to leave, so your point is invalid. We ain't listen to, yep, we ain't listen to a damn thing. Selfish, she is selfish, Moroccan missed queen. you, okay? I don't give a fuck. Y'all, exactly. Don't blame. I ain't, I ain't gonna ask y'all. Don't blame me. Don't put this on me. How dare you turn this back on me? Exactly. I'm just trying to make you understand. I understand. I just don't care. Look, I know you're hurt 
and angry. But I can't undo what I did. You want revenge? Have a one night stand. Oh, <laughs> we are finished. We are finished. She said, you want revenge? Have a one night stand. And he said, it's so kind of That's not the point. Not only am I not, not only for real, I wouldn't do that in real life. If I was somehow in this, in this uh, situation that he was in, I wouldn't even do that because that would imply that one, um, after I do that, I'm somehow going to stay with you. You actually portray me, meaning that you're going to do it again. Like, you you could do it again or who knows how many times you've actually been doing it. You know what I'm saying? I can't trust this thing of where you've been saying because you didn't tell me you didn't you didn't you didn't feel guilty enough to actually sit down and tell me at any day when you could have. I had to catch you if she she, she already opened the relationship. He can do whatever he wants now. Yeah. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants now because the relationship is over. Relationship is over. Let's go ahead and dig. Yeah. Go ahead. Dig your grave deeper. Uh, Michelle. Yeah. Fuck that. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's not the point. I don't want to sleep with anyone else. I want you. I don't want you anymore. Vince, I did a stupid thing. It was meaningless. And if it was meaningless, why is this nigga texting you? Why y'all still texting? That's something I didn't even realize at first. This nigga still, if it, if it was meaningless, you will only hit him up. This is gonna sound crazy, but like, if, it would, if, if all he is is just a body to you, you would only hit him up or only let him hit you up when it's time to go get some pipe. It wouldn't be a, a normal communication to where he like, he's saying this, that, and the third and all that. Nah, nah, no. Nah. Right, pill? But it happened, all right? If I could take it back, I would. And listen to what she's saying. Will you at least sit down so we can talk this through? Like, yo, listen to what she's saying. Like she said, yo, I did this, it happened. I can't take it back. And like, like I'm just now finding out about this and you want me to just be like, yo, it's done with now. There's nothing I can do. There is something I can do. I can leave your ass. I can leave your ass, take everything with me and I can fight you for custody over Zoe. Leave you with nobody. That's my, that's my plan right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Fucking with me. She said, will you at least sit down and talk? Kiss the fuck, bitch. Oh shit! Ah, uh, I don't know if y'all saw that, but it's prompting me. I can either leave, I can sit down and talk, or I can kiss her. Kissing is not gonna happen. Sit down and talk, so I can get more information. I would do that, but if I if I leave, am I literally walking out on her, uh, as in divorce type thing, and take the house, get the fuck out of there? That's what you're saying. I I want more information, man. I do want more information. Y'all both saying leave. <laughs> I, I do want, I do want more dialogue. I want more dialogue. Yes. Sit down and talk. Yeah, let's sit down and talk. We go sit down and talk. Cause the best thing you can do in this situation is you, you are completely justified in feeling angry and bursting out on them. Cause I know I would, but getting as much information as you can, getting as much information as you can is important because when it comes to the divorce, talking to lawyers and all that other stuff, you need to be able to know as much as you can, right? And they can, they wouldn't be able to go back on their word or lie about it because they would get caught easily. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh God, Michelle, what a fucking mess. I don't even know what else to say. Can you ever forgive me? No. Can you ever forgive me? No. Let me, give me the option. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck you. I'm sorry. But I can't pretend this didn't happen. Hell no. Maybe Bruce could. Maybe Br No. Nope. Vince. Think what you're saying. Think about Zoe. There has to be a way. I don't think there is. What about Missouri? I don't know. I guess we'll work something out once we're there. I need to lie down. You need to, you need to leave. <laughs> so that's where we are in the story right now. You wasn't thinking. Oh my God. I wish the video could see this, see the TikTok chat. But Rockin' Queen said some fire. I'm gonna put this in the video. I'm gonna caption it. Y'all ready? She said, you wasn't thinking about Zoe when you had them cheeks open. That's a cap. That's a bar. Head injuries bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain. How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, 
I got your veggie pizzas. You want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Y'all really had the choice to order on, any man. type of food for free, for and y'all chose vegetarian Stop pizza. Me. Please, T take Zoe. I'm. Uh, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, Zoe, man. Sorry, Dad. It's got to be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. Oh, and is this... this is, scary. is this gonna be the decision? Did it go have me make? Did it gonna be like, should I just try to stay out there with the police and leave my father and, and my, my ex-wife in there? That's crazy. I'm not gonna do that, but you know. I do want to attempt to get everyone out alive. I'm just making the decisions that I feel is right. Hey, look. You dropped this. Go ahead, take, take the toy. Take the toy, Zoe. It's okay. He, he ain't do nothing to you. Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One more, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? Yes, yes he is. Mmm. Shelter her. Like she don't need it. She is she's a child, man. The answer's no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? An aircraft mechanic? <laughs> You're supposed to say superhero. That's fucked up. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is gonna die. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. Be brave. Be brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Shut stay your with bitch her. ass up, detective. You would you just left us in there for dead. Fuck you. Daddy, please don't go. I have to, pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? I'm not in danger. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm the main character. I'm going to be fine, Zoe. You'll see. That main character well, shit, it'll make no sense. I know. No when we get to St. Louis, can we still go see the arch? Oh, you bet. In fact, we can drive straight there. Hey, hurry it up. Just Come on, kid. Man. I'm scared. <laughs> Give him the food and send him back in. So I this know how hard this must be for you, Vince. So, Zoe is safe. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Mm. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. <laughs> hey! Don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Okay, we got a pager. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. You were, you were such a corny ass bitch. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I 
I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Yeah, my girl really cheated on me, man. Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. Damn, man. So, so bad for my did boy, you, Vince. Uh, meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? He's up to some. Why not? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll tell you something I learned early on in life. Never trust a cop. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I okay, want it to be over, to Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Can I get some? Bitch ass niggas? Can I count on you? Sure. Sure. I know they just installed that in our heads that uh, he can't be trusted. But at hey, the same time... You want to share that with the rest of us? They took from me a black book. I need you to find um, it. Nope. Don't think I do. Oh, so y'all not gonna share the fucking pizza? You pieces of shit. Yeah, what is it, Are bitch? You serious? Just search their stuff. Deaf? Nah, nigga, tell me what it is. The no, fuck? You can't have it. Because if this shit ain't, ain't nah, 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 no, 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 no. The only thing I'm concerned with is getting out here alive. I'm not not recovering no dirt for you, bro. That's what they was talking about. Can't trust, bro. Watch I find out some incriminating evidence about him. What if I'm caught? Exactly. Pussy. Try making friends with him. What do you mean we this can't is an have awful any? Plan. There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. You a <laughs> bitch ass nigga, bro. Show Dale respect. Fuck Dale. He a psychopath. That's probably why I should show him Come respect. Come on, man. Just share the food. Here you go. Getting all up in my shit again. Why should I? Huh? Reason. Niggas hungry. Isn't it worth a few slices to shut everyone up? If I wanted to shut them up, I'd just fucking do it. They giving you problems? Nah. I got this. Oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not yeah. like... All right, I'm ready. Tyler, he built shit. No Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I oh my god, why didn't he let me do it? I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. It's, it's not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit? I got no idea. Bane interest. Sounds I like some hard shit, man. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm being serious. I see your point. Well, whoop de fucking do. You see my point? Hallelujah. Hey, I was just trying to, you know. What? Feel sorry for me? Go fuck yourself, asshole. So, uh, does that mean no pizza? I don't think pizza's happening, guys. Oh, 
I wasn't hungry anyway. Damn. Well, it's veggie pizza, so you ain't missing out on much. Just go eat some grass. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. You'll get there, and you're almost there. Just a different cool reality. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right? You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas, Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back, <laughs> some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Did he drink it? Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. Yeah, your money. Not the money. My black book. Oh, did Vin, uh, Jay took that. Don't play games with me. One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sniper on his head. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I warn him, I could get shot. Okay. Oh my god. I gotta think. I'm sorry. I gotta think. If I warn him, there. Uh, if, if I warn him, he may spare me. He may try to drag me back to the to the place. If I don't warn him, if I don't warn him and they shoot and bro miss. Or or no, 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 no. If they do shoot him and they kill him, Tyler is still in there holding the hostages and we just killed his and we just killed his brother. You know what I'm saying? The cops, the cops, they, they, they're not going to be like, uh. You're not gonna just stop trying to help because I warned him. You know what I'm saying? It's just, this is a stupid plan. I do you think about it. Because if you shoot this dude right here, there's still another dude in there with a whole shotgun holding other people hostage. Yeah, so I, I have to warn. I have to warn. Have to warn. Sniper! Damn it! Take him out! Shit. Action prompts? <laughs> Going back inside. Go. 
Jesus Christ. He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower. Oh, we ain't getting shit. that chopper, are we? Vince. It's okay. I'm all right. He's gonna ask me why I did it. Shit. Or people will die. The fuck? You have 30 minutes. Don't put me on, 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 on a literal time clock, please. Please. Don't put me on a literal time clock. So there's something there's something in that book that can get bro locked up. Because ain't no way you, you he depressed about something like porn or or some some measly. Hey, yo, Dale, so I saved your life. Can we get those pieces now? <laughs> Is that the end? Of oh, that's the end of chapter two. Oh, man. Okay, so we finally made it in 147. All right, so value, yep, safety, protect others, trait principle, guided by strong moral convictions, play style, fast reflexes, yep. All right, so let's look at let's look at what has happened. Tyler held the gun, tricked Holtz to reach office. So there were two, three different ways this could have went out. Hmm. Okay. This is Vince Desert Dream Hotel. Okay, so we tricked the host office where the Tyler held the gun. That's 30. I was in a, I was in a minority for that. Tricked host to reach office 86 majority. Worked together to get free. So there was a way we didn't work together. How the fuck did y'all get to that? And called Dante, okay, majority people. And we escaped to the office. We warned Jay about the cops. Cops invaded motel, so that was that was bound. It seemed like that was bound to happen no matter what you did. So the cops were gonna come in, right? Chose not to run. We're in the majority yet. He just got it. Was just would have got caught in the crossfire. Jim got knocked out. So what was this path right here? What was this path? Interesting. Jim or Zoe? We chose Zoe. Forty-eight percent. Wait. So the fact that this was a choice. Uh, only 48% was made to just that choice. Zoe, Zoe's still upset. What the fuck? What fuck you doing? Who's Bruce? Relaxed on balcony. Mentioned the text message. Michelle answered the call and spoke to Bruce. Only 28% of us spoke to Bruce. Oh, y'all pussy. Fuck that nigga. Confronted Michelle. Pushed her to talk. She admitted to an affair. And we got angry. Yeah, hell yeah. And 19%, only 19% of us calmed down. And I can't see. Oh, I can't see. Only 16% of us, I'm in the minority, minority, didn't forgive Michelle, who made it to this point. Wow. Yeah. Y'all forgave. Y'all must just be playing this like a safe way or something. Nah, man. Fuck the fuck forgiveness. There are four different ways it could have went out, though. So I guess one of the options was, uh, Oh yeah, right here. The calm down option. I went to the sat down to talk and I'm going to guess one of these options was the league. Wow. Okay. So we exchanged the way that led to this. So we would exchange Jim. It would have went through like all these separate fucking ways and shit. We joined pizza debate. Uh, was that? An yeah, that wasn't an option. Everyone would have done that. We didn't get pizza. So majority was thinking, what was you supposed to do to get pizza? S kiss ass. We became a human shield back safely with. Okay. What was his option? Most of us warned Dale about the sniper. Yeah. Most of us are, are smart. And it went to this bottom option. 
Vince Michelle and injured Jim remain 30 only 32 percent of us got to this option okay story changer okay all right y'all that's that's where we at that's where we at oh i am nervous oh wow and it's on to the next chapter i'm gonna stop it right there all right y'all so that was as dust falls chapter two man oh that is it's so stressful this is stressful man it's crazy we literally it's like i find it easier to navigate my way through this whole being hella hostage thing than navigating my emotions through finding out you're being cheated on within this story as Vince. Cause it's like, man, cause y'all got a child. Having a kid just makes things much more complicated. Cause if the child weren't there, literally I would have had, since my things are already packed since we were planning on moving, I would have literally just took my packed things, went up in a motel and just figured things out from there. I would have left you immediately. Oh, and don't let our already apartment be in my name. I would have kicked you out. Feel me? But yeah, man, we're just gonna see how the story progresses from here. So if y'all like today's video, make sure to give it a like. Comment your favorite part. Also, comment your future game recommendations for the channel. It's been your boy Particle, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.